So in today's review, I'm gonna be going over brushes by Sedona Lace. Sedona Lace has a whole bunch of brushes. They have brush collections, they have individual brushes. You can purchase brush rolls and brush belts there as well. And then they've actually expanded their brand and they now carry cosmetics. I'm gonna be sharing with you a whole brush collection that I purchased as well as a bunch of other individual. In the cosmetic industry, I have played around with so many different brushes and there are so many different brush brands out there. There are really low end, really high end, and brushes, generally speaking, can be extremely expensive. A lot of brands are about $30 to $40 each brush, so it's definitely an investment, and I wanted to share my thoughts, my views, and my opinions with you guys on these Sedona Lace. In this review, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys each brush and what they're for, also giving you my thoughts and opinions on the brushes, as well as the they aren't price. super expensive, but they're definitely not cheap either, and when you're looking into investing into a brush set, it definitely will add up. So definitely check out the link down below and visit Sedona Lace for yourselves. But I did wanna let you guys know, I really recommend waiting to purchase the Sedona Lace brushes when they're on sale. Sedona Lace does a lot of sales. They do sales throughout the website and they also do sales that you need a coupon code for. And it's very, very common for Sedona Lace to do a 20% off sale. So it's really easy to find a coupon code for 20 or 30% off. And they also do free shipping a lot as well. So I highly, highly, recommend waiting for one of those sales or one of those coupon codes because you can always find them on sale and if they're not on sale right now I guarantee they will be in like the next that I will be reviewing for y'all today are the 12 piece professional makeup brush. I also have a bunch of the individual brushes that I'll be sharing with y'all as well. These are some of the original Sedona Lace brushes and then these pretty pink ones over here are from the Midnight Lace. It's called the 12 piece professional makeup brushes and these retail for $79.95 but like I said you can definitely get them on sale save a little bit of money they do come in this gorgeous brush roll I absolutely love the brush roll it's super super durable it looks nice and sleek it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't smell like a gross chemically plastic it's really nice and super handy for traveling and you can always switch out the brushes that are in here this is what the full brush set looks so we like have four face brushes and eight I eye buy brush. each of these brushes individually so if you guys are just looking for a couple of brushes maybe you don't need an entire set you can definitely purchase them individually but if you're looking into buying a few you can definitely save money by purchasing them in bulk because the bigger the set you get the more money so let's go ahead and start off with the Sedona Lace face brush Sedona Lace 376 it's a big fluffy powder brush this one is such a nice size I really like that it's pinched here in the center so it's not like a super round like huge brush it almost has a little bit of like that pinchiness to it which is really nice so it's a great size it's not too big, it's not too small. I think that it's like perfect for getting underneath the eyes here because it's not huge, but you can also dust over the rest of your face because it's a good size as well. Those are so soft. I absolutely love the shape of this brush. My only complaint about it is that I have noticed that this brush does sometimes. This is the 813 large stippling. I notice that a lot of the duo fiber brushes and the stippling brushes is that they tend to shed, and this one is no different. This one does shed probably the most out of all this the one I have noticed quite a bit of shedding and that has been like the biggest turn off on this brush but aside from that I really love using this brush for going over my makeup after it's completed and just making sure everything's really nice and dusted this is also great if you just want a really nice light dusting of powder but it's just perfect for making sure everything's really blended out on the face and it's a really this great this is the Sedona Lace 850 this is a angled my blush. favorite face brushes from Sedona Lace I love the shape I love the size of it Again, the bristles are super, super soft. Um, it is white or like light colored bristles, so they do tend to get really dirty and they look really dirty, but who cares, you can wash it. Um, this shape and the feel of this brush is so nice. They feel like natural bristles, but they are synthetic, which is really cool. Um, I just really like this one. I think it's the perfect size for bronzer. I use it for blush as well, and it just blends everything really nicely. I just I think this is a really good blush and bronzer brush. And I have noticed the slightest bit of shedding with this one. Really, really minor though, not a big deal. And I think it's gotten better over time as I've washed This is the Sedona Lace 727. And this is just your very typical flat kind of paddle paint brush, foundation type brush. Um, I don't use these on myself hardly ever, but I do like these brushes for my clients. And this one's great. It gets the job done, really sturdy, really nice and dense. Um, sometimes the foundation brushes like this can be a little thin, a little dense. 
stingy, so I like that you get a lot of bristles in this one. And it does look cool. eye brushes. This is one of my favorite brushes by Sedona Lace. It's the 863. It's just a very typical blending brush. It does a really great job of blending everything out on the eyes, but it's a nice, like a bigger, dense blending brush, so you can definitely get in there and use this as a crease brush if you want to. You don't necessarily just have to use this for blending, depending on the size of This yeah. is the 941. It's just a really nice, large, flat paddle brush. It's perfect for all over the lid or if you need to cover a large area on the eyes with eyeshadow. It's just perfect for patting on products. It's nice and dense. The bristles are really packed in there and it's a really good large size if you need a bigger This brush. is the 407. It's a angled brush and it just has a really slight angle to it. Nothing crazy. Um, it's just kind of like a blending brush. It's good for the outer corner here if you want to work some shadows in that. I use it just to do my brow bone highlight. It's kind of nice having that angle there. Generally I find that angled brushes are nicer to have on clients unless you're doing like your eyebrows or like your contour but I really like using brushes like this that have an angle on other people because it's just easier to like have that angle already created for you. Um, I don't find myself using this very much on myself but it is a good brush and it has held up really five. And this is a smaller paddle brush. I really like this one because the bristles are a little bit smaller and shorter so they work really well on the inner corner on the brow bone, they work on an all this is for anything because the bristles are nice and short, so you have a lot of 54. This is another one of my favorite eye brushes. It's just a nice, really, really tiny shader brush. It's really nice for the inner corners because it's so small and so like skinny. And if you need to do anything more precise, if you need like a lot of control, this is perfect for that. Since it's so stiff, you have a lot of control and it just like stays right where you need it to. Um, I love using this one on clients and I really like using it on myself because it's nice to have smaller brushes. I think that's one thing that a lot of people have issues with on their eye looks is they're using brushes that are too large and so they're not able to get that definition that they need. But I think this is a really great brush. This is the 904 pencil brush and I love this brush. This is like the first pencil brush I've ever had that I like actually loved and felt like it did what it was supposed so to. So dense and so hard though that you don't have control with it. You can still kind of glide the makeup around a little bit if you need to. I love this for the under eye if you like smoking down eyeshadow down below and if you want a really precise like cut crease it's really wonderful for that as well or anytime that you need more precision. I think this is an awesome pencil brush and I think it's really hard to find pencil brushes so I really like this is a 772 and this is just a really teeny tiny eyeliner brush. It's just a really long like flexible pointy brush. This is great for those of you who like to use gel liners or if you like to do a really defined winged liner. Some people even use these for their eyebrow colors. I don't find myself using this brush for this one if I want to wing out my liner with a gel liner. Uh, but other than that, it's just kind of a handy little brush. I feel like they did a good job on the length of the bristles because it does have a lot of flexibility to it, but it's a little bit more of a dense brush. I think some people either sting out on having like too dense of bristles so that it's too strong and doesn't have any flexibility or they're like too short and too like stiff or if they have like too longer bristles or if they're not dense enough you don't have like a stiff enough brush that you can make a wing with it. So I feel like this is in a really good middle happy place where you can, it has the density, it has the length, so you have that brush. 561, and this is a little tiny angled brush. When I first got this, I thought I would use it more for eyebrows because I do like to use Anastasia dip brows and gels and creams and things like that. Um, but I find that it's like too short for that or something. Something about it just doesn't give me enough control on the brows like I wanted to. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't work very well for the brows for me personally. I think I might just be too picky about that and other people would probably love it for that. But I do really like this for gel liner or cream liner. I really like using that little angle brush down here to get that definition or if you need to do something up really close to the lash line, I think this brush is On great. To the individual brushes that I picked. So this is the Sedona Lace Jumbo Fan Brush, the FB01, and this retails for $18.90. When I saw this brush, I knew I had to have it. It's this like huge dense fan brush and I just love it. It just puts me in my happy place like whenever I see it and whenever it's in my brush belt I just think it's so beautiful and I love the size of this 
fan brush. I feel like a lot of fan brushes are way too- a lot of fan brushes out there that are like half the size, maybe even less than half the size that are like really thin fan brushes. And those are more for like dusting off products or like very lightly putting product on the cheekbones or underneath the eyes. But I don't really find brushes like that very useful especially on like an everyday like daily makeup routine but this brush I love I find that there's a lot of uses for this one I can use it to do my contouring I can use it to do my bronzing on my forehead I can use it to do bronzing on the rest of the face I can use it to dust off excess dust on a highlighter and I even like it for bronzing my body since it's so large um, I just love this brush I find that it works perfect on me it works great on my clients I just think it's awesome and I don't know if everyone in the world world would get as excited about this brush as I have when I first saw it I just wanted to have it because I thought it was so pretty and I've been amazed at how much I've used it and how much I've loved it and I just think this brush is the bomb so the fan brush FB014 the Sedona Lace Dome Contour Brush the FB05 and this retails for $16.95 and this brush is intended to be a contour brush. Um, it's a smaller, really nice, small, nice size. So it's really great for getting down right in where you want your contour shade. It's nice and small, so you have a lot of control with that. Um, you can blend it out a little bit since it is more round. I've even used it down my nose because it's not too big that I can do that with it. My one complaint about this is that it sheds a lot and like, I mean a lot like I'm just pulling out hairs right now so that's really frustrating because I wanted to love this brush so much and I still use it um, I find that this brush works really well for contouring I love the size I love the shape I just it sheds a lot on me so that has kind of driven me away from using it as much as I would have liked to but I like the brush other than this is this Sedona Lace Universal Blender. This is the EB09 and it retails for $13.95. This is one of my favorite brushes out of all my Sedona Lace brushes. It is identical to the MAC 217 brush that you've all heard of before. It has that really nice pinch here at the ferrule so it gives that more like slender feel to the side of the brush but then it's a little bit thicker on the edges here and it's just a perfect little, it's called the universal blending brush but I just think it's really great for working product into the crease it's great for blending things out it's not too big we not... use it as a crease brush but if you turn it on its side you can use it as a blending brush as well I will run this underneath my lower lash line to help blend everything out as well it's not super long like a typical blending brush or even like a domed crease brush that generally has more give to it I just think it's like the perfect little versatile brush and if I travel, if I'm doing any sort of makeup look, this is one thing that I have to have with me. So these are the Sedona Lace Midnight Lace brushes. And these are the ones that are pink that fade to a deeper color. And these brushes have more of a velvety texture to them. They feel much more dense than the original Vortex brushes or the other brushes. And the each individual hair is a little bit thicker feeling, has a little bit more of that like true synthetic feel to them, um, which I don't mind. I don't mind that like synthetic feel. Um, it gives them a lot of density and a lot of like power. So I kind of think that's nice. These are a little bit more expensive a little bit than their original brushes and she does have collections where you can buy like a bunch of these brushes together and a bunch of these together or you can purchase them all individually. These are two foundation brushes that I have. These are the Sedona Lace round top brush and the flat top brush. This one is the 480 and the 920s are just wonderful at buffing anything out on the skin. Uh, the round top has a little bit shorter of bristles than the flat top. More density and more stiff and more I'm trying control. to get a lot of coverage out of your foundation then I would recommend the round top to you because of how dense it is and how like stiff it is and how much control you get with it you can really pack on product and get a really full coverage look if you like more of like a medium everyday versatile brush I think the flat top would be better for you because they are a little bit longer of hairs so they're not quite as dense they're not quite as stiff you can move the brush a little bit more on the skin so it just kind of like blends and gives a little bit more of that like 
airbrushed finish to the skin, I think. Um, it just kind of depends what you're going for or what you're more I think I prefer the flat top if I had to pick one, but I do like having both of these brushes. I think they work really well. Um, I think most of the time you need to have a little bit more of that give just to make sure that the foundation's blended properly and it doesn't look pressed into the skin. It doesn't look like it's like you can see where the brush is marked on the skin. It just gives you a little bit more of that like airbrush give. And this brush is so soft. I love the way this feels on the skin. Whenever I use these brushes, clients always comment to me like that's so soft like what are you using what brushes are those so i know that these ones are really really the only complaint that i have about these foundation brushes is that there is a looseness between the handle and the ferrule here so i can twist the handle i can wiggle it a little bit so the glue is probably coming loose in there or something and that this is going to break off someday and i'm going to have to glue it back so hopefully at that point it's fixed but i haven't had that problem with my flat top. I'm sure they're made exactly the same though. I can't imagine these handles being any different. The handle and the ferrule are identical, so I'm sure they're made the same way. I think I've probably used my round top more than my flat top, because at first I favored this one, but now I like this one better. But I think I probably use this one more, and maybe that's just where some of the wears come from. But I'm glad it's only happened to this one. This is the Synthetic Small Round Dome Brush, and it's the number 217. And this one retails for $16.95. This is another one of my favorite brushes. This one for concealer or to brand out a primer on the eyelids or anything that I just need to like buff a small amount of product. I really love this for packing on under eye concealer or just like blending in around the nose or around the mouth or cleaning up the eyebrows. It's really, really Concealer good. brushes like this, I think they're awesome if you need to pack on concealer to cover a blemish or to cover tattoos or something a little bit darker and more noticeable. Um, and I just like having it every day for a thicker concealer as well. This works really wonderfully with my MAC Pro Longwear concealer or like any sort of like thicker product. So I really, really like The this. Sedona Lace Synthetic Tapered Blending Brush, number 863. And this one retails for $13.85. It's just a fancy, really long, fluffy blending brush. It really just is great for blending anything out, any harsh lines. Um, if you want something that's gonna be really soft just to get all the edges nice and even, it's simply just a really good blending brush. That's kind of all. It's not quite like those brushes that you can use as a crease brush and a blending brush or like a like all over brush and a blending brush. It's more just a blending brush, but it does a really, really good job on this brush because it's not too dense that you can't get any give with it. Um, it does move. It is very floppy and flimsy, um, so you can get a lot of control with that, and you can really like airbrush and blend out the edges of the eyes, and I just really, really like this one. So if you guys are looking for like the best blending brush out there, if that's all you want it to do, just blend everything like a dream, this is Overall, I definitely prefer the Sedona Lace Midnight Lace Collection over the original brushes or the Vortex brushes. I find that these bristles just feel really, really nice. They're really soft. They don't shed at all whatsoever. I've washed them a million times and haven't had any issues with them um, other than this one brush that has a little bit, um, a little bit of an issue with that. Um, that handle kind of coming loose. But other than that, I think that these brushes are super, super high quality. I love the handles of them. I love the bristles. Just one brush to buy or a couple brushes to try out. I highly recommend trying out the Midnight Lace. Original brushes, I am really impressed with the handles, with the ferrules. I love the length of these eye brushes. A lot of brands kind of skip out on length. They kind of chop their eye brushes short. Um, but having that length is so important, especially Especially if you are a makeup artist and you're working on other people or if you need to have a little bit more of a variety um, these are awesome because you can choke back really far and you get a lot of room to move you get a lot of control versus being up close you don't have as much of that option so I love being able to choke back on my brush and get a lot of a lot of control that way so the length of these is awesome the size of them is great the brushes themselves 
feel so good. They feel like genuine, like good quality. Original face brushes, I'm not extremely impressed with. I do like them. They're nice to have, especially my large fan brush. I do love this brush a lot. But the other large face brushes, they just shed more than I would prefer. And to some people, that's not a big deal. They don't mind picking little hairs off their face all day long. But I find that that bothers me a lot, especially when I'm working on my clients and they're like, oh, your brush is shedding on me or I'm like trying to pick little hairs off their face and it's like stuck to their These mouth. face brushes are not my favorite. Um, I like them. They're not a bad price at all, um, but I just find that the shedding is not getting better even after continuous washing. So the face brushes are good. They're just not. My brushes though have become my absolute favorites. They're my like staple eye brushes. I go to these all the time. They're constantly the brushes that I'm reaching for and I really, really love working with. I have washed all of these brushes seriously like tons of times. I've had these brushes for over a year now, so they've all been washed multiple times. They've been used on clients. They've been used on myself. I've used them with different products and I genuinely really I definitely like. think that brushes are worth the investment. They're something that make a huge difference in your makeup application and the overall wear of your makeup. So if you are someone who is looking into getting new brushes or you're interested in new brushes, I hope this video helped. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this review was helpful. I will have the link down below if you guys want to check out Sedona Lace. This was not a sponsored video. I just had these brushes for quite some time and I know that brushes can be really tricky, especially when they're such a... for watching this video and if you could please subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. I really appreciate your support and I will have other social media links down in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a later video. Mwah.